Hey Sagittarius, it's Illum Astrology with your October 2018 tarot reading. I'm sorry I'm late. I was really, really busy, so I'm just catching up. The big news this month is that Venus is retrograde, and Venus rules over money, love, and friendships. And it's all about reviewing, rethinking, going back, um, revisiting, or not. It all depends on your particular situation. Um, and... It's about reviewing what it is you really need in your life, love in your life, want in your life. It has to do with the art that you like, the music, the beauty, um, whether or not you are feeling loved or not, um, and also the money you make and how you make it. So Venus retrograde is about reviewing all these things, going back. Sometimes we can feel more intensely. Sometimes we figure out that what we were feeling was something that we shouldn't be feeling. It all depends. So let's take a look at Sagittarius and see what's up for you guys for October 2018 for all those born under the sun, moon, or rising sign of Sagittarius. Please note that these are general, so whatever messages come out, I'm going to convey those to you, whether it's love or whether it's business or whatever shows up here. Um, if you'd like a personal reading or to read all about astrology, please visit my site at www.alumastrology.com. Um, and you can read all about your own birth, uh, personal birth chart and the personal transits you are going through. So let's see what's happening for Sagittarius for October 2018. Um, what are the themes, messages for those born under the sun, moon, or rising sign? Of Sagittarius and if these do not resonate with you please check out your moon or rising sign Sagittarius please give me the most accurate messages for those born under the Sun moon, or rising sign of Sagittarius October 2018 okay Sagittarius here we go all right so at the bottom of the deck, we have happy times. This could be an engagement, a wedding, a party, um, a commitment. Okay, this is the four of wands, which is the marriage card, the happy relationship card, the happy home card. So that's awesome. So October, some of you are going to be feeling pretty good um, about your home environment, even finding a secure relationship for those of you that are single, for those of you that could care less about a relationship and want money, you're going to have a happy home. You might go to a birthday party, a, a wedding, anniversary party, anything like that too because it's a party card. So that's a good way to start. So let's take a look at what else is going on. So we have the Four of Cups, which is feeling sorry or sad about something or perhaps wanting something that you didn't get. You may be reviewing all the mistakes you made or things you did wrong, and you may want this one particular situation, person, place, or thing, or um, you've just been thinking about mistakes and learning from them, and now you know what it is you want to do. Some of you may want somebody... Um, that and you have these other options that you're not interested in okay now this can go for work and for love meaning maybe you're not happy at your job and you want this other job or you want to start this new business um, but let's take a look at what the rest has to say so death is in reverse which is about not letting go of something not ending something that perhaps you should let it die let it go let it the end of it when it's in reverse, it means that somebody's not letting go of something. Somebody wants something to happen, and maybe it's even just a change, and yet it's not occurring yet, okay? For some of you, this change maybe didn't occur. For some of you, it could be somebody's holding on to you, wanting you, and maybe you don't want them, but they're not letting go. Then we have the Prince of Swords in reverse, and this can be a younger air sign, but in general readings, I don't go with the signs because they're general, and not every Sagittarius is involved with the same sign. Um, but this is about not communicating, not moving forward, not pushing forward, not being uh, direct with your communications, or somebody being the same with you, somebody cutting out com communication. It could also be that you're waiting to hear from something in regards to a celebration or in regards to somebody you've wanted that hasn't been giving you what you want and they're not communicating with you right now. 
And you have the world card in reverse also, which is not ending a cycle. So this will not apply to all of you. Please check your rising and your um, ascendant sign for your messages might be there. But for those of you, this does look like it's some sort of situation that let you down and you're not giving up. You're not letting go. You're not giving up. Or somebody let you down. They're not letting go. And they're not letting it die. They're not letting it end. But they're not communicating right now. And the cycle is continuing. It might be something that's been going on for a while. And then we have the Prince of Pentacles, which could be a younger earth sign or it's a new job opportunity, a new money-making opportunity, a new business. Something that's starting, it's budding, and it's beginning. Now, for some of you, it could be that you wanted to hear from an air sign and they were not communicating with you and you are stuck in a cycle with them and they won't let go of you, you won't let go of them. For some of you, you might have a new opportunity of an earth sign coming in or it could be a new start to the situation that's more stable. Then we got the Nine of Swords, and this is about staying up at night worrying. This is about stress. This is just about stress, worrying, overthinking, having difficulty sleeping, um, problems, of, you know, n nine different problems, financial problems, relationship problems, feeling lonely, feeling alienated, feeling something, whatever the cause. And it looks because, like, something has, so you haven't moved past from something, and you're stuck in a cycle, and it's not. You're not expressing how you feel and the, and the other person, people, place, or thing is not moving forward with you, but there's a new start or a new offer of something beginning here. And this is the seven of swords in reverse, which means illumination and the truth is going to come out. Somebody's going to be exposed. Somebody was being sneaky with you or in the reverse and positively, um, somebody was trying to be stealth and, you know, it could be you trying to do everything you can to make something happen. Okay, um, because this is the stealth card, but it's also the sneaky card that stresses you out like, oh my God, I've been so disappointed. And in the reverse means you're getting out of that disappointment, but also means that whatever sneaky thing that occurred here, the person's going to get found out or the situation is going to get found out. And that's going to promote a transformation here. And we have the magician in reverse, which is about somebody either being manipulative um, using their superpowers against you in some way, whether it's a narcissistic relationship, whether it's a person who has all this ability and everything to create whatever re reality they want in your head or telling you lies or something like that, especially because it came under this card. Um, it could be somebody really smooth, very charismatic, very everything, but they're sneaky in your life. And it's been causing you a lot of stress. Some of you might be in love with this person and you're stuck in a cycle with them that you can't let go or get out of. For some of you, this could just be financial stress and just feeling like you made mistakes in some area. There's a lot of, there's some regret there. And it could also be vice versa that there's somebody else that did something wrong to you and they're feeling bad about it and they're not letting go and they're keeping you in this situation. But there is some sort of celebration, wedding, birthday party, or some event or something that you're going to be attending or going to. Um, this could also be f you feeling like you're out of control and you don't know what to do about the situation. You've been very stressed out about something. Um, it could be financial. It could be love. It could be your work, your job. And then you got the Nine of Cups, which is feeling like you pull it together. Okay, you pull it together, you are going to have enough money for whatever it is that you want to go buy as many as you want, and you're going to find out that you have the power to change the situation. Now, there may have been some vague circumstances surrounding you in terms of, you know, clarity or, you know, decisions you've made or situations that occurred that have been causing you stress and you're not letting go and you're not starting over or... You're unable to travel somewhere or you've just been stressed. You've been stressed about financial reasons, a relationship, being betrayed, manipulated. Um, these are different scenarios. It does not mean that all of them occurred at the same time, okay? But it looks like towards the end of the month, you're going to be feeling emotionally content and you're going to be able to feel stronger, empowered. The high priest is someone that has a lot of knowledge, a lot of information, the metaphysical sciences. Um... And it's about taking control of your life and using the fact that positivity will get you everywhere, which you guys know a lot of. And by you realizing that you are in control of your destiny, that whatever happened here, you can turn it around at any point in time. 
through believing you can and by taking the proper actions. Now, this could also be something that's a mystery to you, something that's you're trying to seek out answers to. But it could be a spiritual teacher that comes into your life and makes you emotionally fulfilled as well. Sagittarius, October 2018. Tell me more about this high priest in the Nine of Cups. So yeah, something solid is going to start. You're going to get your finances together. You're going to have everything figured out. You're going to get clarity. Um, for those of you involved with an air or an earth sign, it doesn't have to be, again, these are general. It can be any sign. Okay, um, it looks like there's communication stop with the air sign um, and you're in a cycle with them or you're stuck with them or something um, or they're not communicating with you or things or a project you started that you were work, working hard on didn't move forward and you're kind of waiting and it's been stressing you out. There could have been financial matters that were stressing you out. You maybe felt like it was out of your hands, something like you, you don't have the control, you don't have what it takes. All that's going to clear up at the end of the month. You're going to start something new. It's going to be something solid. Um, if it's a new job, the job is coming. If it's a new business you're starting, it's going to start. It's at the budding point. If it's a new relationship, it's going to be a new beginning that's much more stable. Um, let me get to uh, focus cards for Sagittarius for October 2018. You got Revealing Radiance. It says, my light illuminates the world. Um, you know, being positive and just you know, smiling and, 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 and laughing, even if you're in a bad situation, will change your situation. It's all mind over matter. You know, the placebo pill heals people because they believe it's going to work, even though it's just sugar and water. So you guys are really faith-based anyway, ruling the ninth house of Jupiter. You believe in faith. You believe in, in believing in yourself and the power of it. And then you got exceeding expectations. So I can see that, at, you know, some of you... We're stuck in some kind of cycle. We're unable to travel to somebody, got cut off from somebody. Somebody had sharp words with you. Somebody may have been manipulative or sneaky, may have been, doesn't have to be. Um, and you've been stressed out financially or worried about something. There's just been a lot of pressure at work, a lot of stress. Um, and you're going to celebrate something and you're going to feel empowered again and you're going to be stabilized, okay? And you're actually going to exceed what you're expecting to happen out of the situation. Uh, let's get a love message for Sagittarians that care about love and would like to know what's happening with their love lives. Um, what message do you have for those born under the sun, moon, or rising of Sagittarius? Sun, moon, or rising of Sagittarius. We got look at your patterns in relationships. It says it requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. So if you're attracting all the wrong types and you're attracted to the wrong types, like let's just say you're attracted to the jerks and the people that treat you bad, then you know recognize that. Be able to look inside and say, why is this? Why do I like the one that doesn't call me back or the one that's mean to me or the one that's this to me? Or if you are attracting the wrong types of people or in relationships as friendships, Venus is retrograde, so it's all about reevaluating friendships, love relationships, what you really want, what you really value, what's really important to you. So the advice is to look at your patterns in your relationships and don't be afraid to recognize if you have one that's not healthy for you. Doesn't mean you do, okay? That's just a advice. Let's see what, what we can what else we can get as far as love is concerned for Sagittarius. Embrace your emotions. It says, don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. It's very important that we're able to express our emotions, otherwise they bottle up and they implode and explode and they burn bridges and they do all kinds of stuff. So if you have difficulty expressing yourself or expressing your emotions, just realize that you need a good friend to talk to or somebody to talk to about anything. Um, feel free to do that. You know, you need to express, express how you feel. If it's a lover that you just need to get things off your chest during Venus retrograde, it's a good time to do that, to find out if there's, if it can be salvaged or not. And if it's unhealthy, get out. 
And if it's good for you and, and you made mistakes, don't be afraid to acknowledge those. And if it's bad for you and toxic, be strong enough to say it and to walk away. And this is all relationships, not just love relationships, business relationships, close friends, whatever it is, financial problems, all that stuff, whatever it may be, you're going to actually exceed what you're expecting this month, okay? And you're going to have a new fresh start of something positive happening. And if you need to express your emotions or feelings about somebody or something, then do it. It's Venus retrograde. That's what it's for. Sagittarius. You guys got Archangel Raphael, the provider of healing for the mind, body, and spirit. Which is beautiful for this card, especially for those of you that have been stressed, worried, or just stressed out about whatever. Archangel Michael is there to help. I'm sorry, Archangel Raphael. <laughs> sorry. Uh, next we have Sagittarius. We got, wow, you got two archangels, Archangel Gabriel. It says, a messenger of creativity and hope. So these are your lovely, beautiful messages for you guys. I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you would like a personal reading, please visit my site at www.illumastrology.com. Um, if you... Uh, would like to read all about astrology, you can also go there and read all about it. Um, otherwise, I'm sending you positive energy for all the best. And until next time.